everybody welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while since i've uploaded um i've had a lot of self-reflection a lot of um just personal work that i've been doing because i was doubting myself i really was i was starting to doubt myself and this is why i actually wanted to make this video and this is where <laughs> this topic basically stems from which is your self-limiting beliefs and how anything that you do in life really does just take belief and um the reason as to why we don't do so many things and all of that kind of stuff i just wanted to touch on this topic because for me personally like so many things in my life that i've always really wanted to do and never followed through with it always stems because of self-belief um i knew that i personally could do it but you have to get to a level of self-belief where it's like even people's opinions aren't going to change your mind. Um, you're at a point where you just know that it's going to happen. And I really, really wanted to create this video because there are so many people out there that are living a life that you just don't feel fulfilled in. And the reason that we're living these lives is because of the limiting beliefs that we're setting upon ourselves. As ridiculous, as, it's not even ridiculous, but as harsh as that may sound, um, it really is the fundamental fact as to why you might not be succeeding in the areas that you want to be succeeding so i wanted to just make this video just to help anybody else out there that you know isn't feeling fulfilled in their life and actually has dreams and goals that they really want to go for but they just have they've just found that they're not doing it and they're just not doing what they need to do or they'll start and then they'll just sort of stop doing it and drop off like i've been doing with my youtube channel because my self-belief isn't there like i'll create content and i literally will start having conversations in my head where i'm like no one's gonna watch this, this is gonna be a rubbish video, nobody's gonna even like it, like who's gonna watch this, who even needs to hear this, like who do I think I am that I can even talk about that and that I can even share my opinion, like I'm not a professional, like why would people listen to me? All of these negative thoughts come flooding into my mind and then it just stops me from taking action and it stops me from actually creating and doing what gives me joy in my life. And I know for a fact that there are other people out there because I'm not alone. Nobody in this world is alone. Anything that you're feeling, there is somebody else out there that is feeling the exact same thing. And with the way that the world is at the moment, there's just so much negativity in the air. I wanna spread positivity and I wanna be able to, you know, help and everything that I learn that's helping me along the way, I wanna share with everyone on my YouTube channel and also on my Instagram account. So um, that is why I'm creating this video. And I just want it to start from what is your limiting beliefs or why is your body doing this stuff to you or why are you not taking action it is literally your body's um what is it called what is it called nervous system i don't know if it's called a nervous system neurosystem nervous system let's just go with nervous system i think it's your body's nervous system nervous system why does that not sound right I'm going to go with nervous system and if it's incorrect I'm just going to I'm just going to put like a little thing he's saying actually I was wrong. Um but it's your body's nervous system to naturally want to always keep you safe. So the whole fight or flight syndrome and all of that sort of stuff that literally comes into it. Whenever you are about to do something that makes you a little bit nervous, maybe you're a little bit scared to do it, you're scared of what people are going to think, all of that sort of stuff, fight or flight literally kicks in. And that's like your fight is the part where you actually kind of want to do it, but you're a little bit scared. That's the fight part. Your flight section comes in when your body starts to say, oh, hold up. Her adrenaline level's going up. Why is her adrenaline level going up? Why does she starting to get a bit excited? Like her heart rate's starting to race a little bit. Oh, okay. We're going into panic mode. We're going into panic mode. Come on, we need to calm her down. We need to calm her down. And that's where your body starts to be like, oh no, it's okay. No, you don't need to do that. You don't need to do that no don't do that that's not gonna work oh no it's okay we're, we're, we're comfortable here like this is where you're safe like let's just stay here this is where you're safe and um it's okay it's your body just trying to protect you however you need to be able to push past that and that is why everybody always gets an adrenaline rush like that moment before you're about to do something that makes you a little bit nervous that pushes you i don't like to say pushes you outside your comfort zone but like when you're about to do something that's about to extend your comfort zone you immediately like after doing it you immediately get an adrenaline rush 
I always do this. Like the first time I did a live video on my Instagram account, I remember coming off it and being like, oh my God, that was so intense. Whoa, 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 that was actually really fun. Like, oh my God, it wasn't as bad as I thought. I need to do that again. And it was the exact same thing with my business. Like the first time I did my business presentation, I literally remember being so like nervous that it was like word vomit. I was just blah, 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 like going on and on and on. And I know that it wasn't how I can present it now, but I did it. And after I came off that, the adrenaline rush, the high that I got at the fact that I just took the plunge and I just did it, made me feel so, so proud of myself. And that is literally where it comes from. It literally just stop second guessing yourself. There's that whole rule of like five seconds. Like when you're about to do something that makes you feel nervous, count down from five and then just do it. So just be going at five, four, three, two, one, go, just do it. Um, and that will really help with pushing yourself and just doing what you need to do like whenever you're trying to hit a goal or you're trying to succeed in something whether that's like starting a youtube channel building a business online or you know building a, building an influence if that's what you want to do or becoming a music artist becoming an artist in itself like putting yourself out there and promoting yourself whenever you get to a point where that's what you want to be doing in life you're gonna have to you're gonna have to just take the jump every now and then. And it's the first one. The first one is always the one that is like the hardest because it just gets easier after that. And there's like a thing of like the infinity circle of belief where it's literally just like, the first step is like, you just need to take belief. Just take belief. Once you believe, you'll you'll just do the action. Just get it done. Once you've done it once, you'll feel a little bit confident because it wasn't as bad as you were thinking. It's not actually like, you know, oh, I could do that actually. It wasn't that bad. Which is then going to give you some more experience because you're going to be doing it more, which is then the more experience you get, the more you believe that you can do it, which means that you're going to start doing it more. So really is just about taking action from your belief like stop second guessing yourself i know i know like i know i know i know that that is so much easier said than done but it really is just that simple and if you're just paralyzed in fear because you've got to a position where you've really 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 overthought about it and you just it's now become this big giant bubble and you don't even know where to start to try and minimize it like i completely get it i've been in stages like that too in in regards to like building my youtube channel i literally remember getting to a point where i was planning it for about a year and a half two years planning my youtube channel oh it's not ready yet oh it's not ready yet oh it's not ready yet oh i haven't done you know i'm just not happy with the um i'm just not happy with the banner oh i i don't even have you know, I don't even have a thumbnail like template. Oh, I, I can't start yet. Oh, I'm going to plan some videos. Oh, do you know what? I'm not happy with those videos. Like every sort of single little excuse that I was giving myself was creating this bigger, bigger, bigger issue that I just then felt like, oh my God, I can't start. Like, how am I going to start? I literally felt paralyzed. What I would say genuinely and highly recommending is personal development and just developing yourself um i know that it's like such a cliche to just be like get self-help books but genuinely just do that um you know it might be that your confidence isn't fully there so read about you know self-help books on how you can become more confident follow instagram accounts that really promote and help help you with tips on how to become more confident or maybe it's your public speaking that you're scared of or i don't know anything that you're you're scared to do or you feel like your skill set isn't at the point that you want it to be make sure that you're developing those and growing like it's just so fun when you come into a point in your life where you're learning but taking action so make sure that whatever you are learning you're definitely implementing it don't just continuously learn and learn and learn how to be confident without taking action maybe one of the tips if confidence is something that you want to grow maybe one of the tips is to wear something bold don't just read that and be like okay yeah i need to wear something bold and not do it buy something that you're like wow i really like that but you know what i'm a little bit anxious about how what people will say about that buy it wear it you are definitely going to get some comments you will always get some comments but my best advice for people that are commenting and giving you shit about it they're not where you want to be so why are you listening to them just listen to the people that are exactly where you want to be because when people are where they want to be in life, when people are living their true potential life, they don't have time to spread negativity 
all that they're doing is in a po they're in a positive mindset in a positive lifestyle because they're actually doing something with their life that they love and that they're passionate about and they just want other people to find the same thing you will never ever find me commenting negative things on instagram like you just won't i'm not going to spend my time doing that because I'm just not in a negative headspace. Like I want people to live their true and authentic life. And when I see people doing that, I promote it. I literally like, I will literally cheer them on like no tomorrow because that's what you need sometimes. And I've been in a position where I really wanted to try something new or be authentic to myself and being really scared about the judgment that I was gonna get. And it really did just take me finding an incredible community of people to be like, no girl, do it, like, and just cheer me on. And then it just, that's, that's all that we need is to just be able to cheer each other on and just try it, have fun, laugh at your failures because you will only fail by not doing it. So anything that you think is a fail, if you film a video and it's an absolute flop, that's not you failing. That's you learning. That is you taking action and learning because you're not happy with where the skill set is at. So you do it again until it's until you're happy with it. It's not a flop. It's not you failing at all. It's you learning from your mistakes. The only way that you can fail is by not doing something about it. So I really, really hope that this video has added some value to you, maybe given you a bit of confidence and a bit of guidance on how you can take action on your life. And I'm really, really excited with the direction that I'm going to be taking this YouTube channel now. And um, yeah, I hope you have a lovely day, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.